Okay, just a little update on the greenhouse. First time I've grown anything for about 10 years in here. Cleaned it all out, insulated it, put a heater in, put electrics in, waterproof double socket. And uh, I've already got my garlic outside. I've got some tomatoes here, Roma. About half of them have come up. About three quarters of my sweet million. And about half the tumbling toms, a little bit more than half of the tumbling toms have come up there for in, uh, hanging baskets, cherry tomatoes. And then I've decided to do some coriander in one half of the seed tray and basil in the other. And basil's quite a way behind the coriander. Um, and then I've got two trays of onions that really need to go in the ground by next weekend at the latest. Uh, so that'll be next weekend's job. And over here, so I've got my Aaron pilots here, chitting, and uh, they're going to go in the a uh, load of these black bags like this one. I'm just using for storage for clean pots at the moment, and um, that's the plan with them. Probably next weekend as well. But uh, today's job really is to sort out. I'm going to do some Kong F ones. These look massive. I've done normal giant single sunflowers before. I've never done these Kongs that can apparently go up to 14 feet. Uh, there's 20 seeds. I'll probably do all 20. Anything I do over, I'll just end up bringing to work and giving to people. Courgette, Midnight F1. Apparently there's a quite a good ones and very good for patio containers. So again, I'm probably gonna do these either in big pots or I could possibly do them in the bags. Not decided yet, I've already got the bags. It saved me money on pots. Carrots, I'm gonna do these in the bags rather than buckets. I have seen guys on uh, YouTube talk about doing them in big buckets, but I'm thinking there's a, gonna be a greater circumference in a bag. So I'm gonna do two bags with carrots and see what happens this year. Courgette, I'm not sure about. But for now, I'll put them into um, pots. And I think the sunflowers I'll also put into pots. I was thinking I would put them into um, some plug trays, but I decided against that. Just because I think they're both the sunflowers and the courgettes, they're quite um, aggressive plants, I suppose, quite quick growing. They're not very delicate, delicate. So I'll start them off in this cool greenhouse, which as you can see, I've taken all the, my little section when I was heating up with using the heater, I had this sectioned off to make it more economical. This is now just set literally on a little frost setting for the whole greenhouse. Um, and uh, that's it really. I'm gonna get on with that today. Let's fill the pots for the sunflowers first. So now I've got my 20 pots. Let's see what Mr. Fothergill says. So outdoors, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if there are 20. Okay, so let's see if there's really 20 in the packet. The best way to do it is a flat surface. I'm just gonna pour them all out. Making sure the packet's empty. It looks like we've got 22. One, two. Six, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, twenty-two. Does say an average of twenty. Um, so I'm sorry if somebody else bought these and they've only got eighteen. I've got your extra two. So that's fine. Now let's get them into the pots. So. It says 1.5 centimeters deep. So all I like to do is 
poke a hole in the compost. It's quite dry at the moment still. And then literally just drop a seed into each and then pinch the top and then a sprinkle of compost over the top. Each. We would do, except my cheap tripods just decided to come apart. Hmm. I have to press one of my other tripods into use. So let's do that. And then one seed each. I'd rather do one seed each. Oh no, lost a seed. Down to 21, unless I find it. So I'd rather do one seed in each pot and have some pots not germinate than have two seeds in a pot and prick one out and lose one. These are going to be huge, he says. The packet says. Find it. So the packet says they're going to be huge. And we'll just have to wait and see on that, really. So I pinch over the hole that we've buried our seed in. And then I will top up each one. Just with a little bit of compost. Being careful because this is on my capillary matten. I don't want a load of compost flying onto that particularly. I don't think it makes a big difference, but it could encourage stuff to grow on my matting instead of, <laughs> you know, and by which I include diseases and stuff like that, which I don't really want. And I'm going to just firm them, each one down, back of the hand. We're done. Now I just have to make sure I don't mix them up with anything else. <laughs> Rubbish, right? Sunflower, I know what that is. And their F1 Kong, 7 to the 3rd, 21. From above, give them a good soak. Capillary mat won't do any harm. Now here's a little thing you've got to be careful of. And if you can see that, so I'm going to poke it back in. Make sure it's covered. Leave them alone. With these courgette, courgette, midnight F ones, and scissors ten seeds. I don't. Well, I will plant all ten. I'll pot all ten. So I'm going to do all 13 and I'll do them in these little black pots, these little square ones instead. I'm not superstitious. Okay, so I've prepared my 13 pots. I've poked a little hole in each one, about 1.5 centimeters as directed. And uh, a little tip for your courgette seeds. You can see how wide they are, but they're quite thin. I don't know if you can see that. Hope you can. They're like pumpkin seeds. And uh, you're supposed to sow them edge up. So don't put them flat in. Make sure they sit on the edge. And I pinch each one closed as I do it. Just in case it falls over and I don't notice. So put them on their edge. Apparently... This stops the seed rotting. 
if it's too wet, which it will be very wet in a minute because I'm going to obviously water them well in to sit here in my frost-free greenhouse. The packet does talk about 15 to 20 degrees, but with my frost-free greenhouse in the daytime, I'm getting good temperatures in here on my maximum minimum thermometer and I'm getting, I hope you can see this, the reflection is not too bad. There we go, 20.9 I'm getting at the moment. The lowest is 3.3, .3. at the bright now it's 12.3 degrees Celsius, it's the middle of the day. So I'll be happy with that, that should be fine. And then obviously I've got my courgette. You might not see this because it's white and the exposure's off, but just label them with what you've got in here. Get them well watered in and try and do it this time without there we go that's better without flooding and washing out the seeds good water that's plenty and then they can sit underneath and then they can sit down here on the bottom tray where they're easily kept an eye out. I'll probably move them up to the top when I do the onions next week because they'll be out of here. And that's today's job done. Next job, get some compost, fill this up, fill my two bags and sow some carrots. Uh, so this is just at the end of my patio outside. Gets quite a bit of sun from about 11 a.m. onwards. And uh, I've just put one of the bags now with the compost from the Wix bag. I'm estimating I've used 35 litres or so. I think these are 40 litre bags off of um, eBay. No, Amazon, sorry. I got about 10 of them. And uh, there's no way I'm going to use that much compost. Sod that. So I think what I will do, as I'm planning to do my potatoes and grow bags this year, or rather in bags this year. I'll use these for the potatoes, do two potatoes per bag. Um, it's gonna be quite expensive for compost that, to be honest. So that's why I'm not gonna do two lots of carrots like this. What I'm thinking is uh, next year, I'll just buy the 120 liter bags because they're like bricks and I actually put it on its side and um, loosen it up, put it on its side and then just put some drain holes in what will be the bottom of it and then just cut the top out and use it like a giant grow bag for carrots. I might try that next year in one lot just to see what happens. My soil is too stony for carrots so we'll, we'll see what happens. Just a wee bit of fleece just to help keep it warm, keep any frost off it. And I'm done. That's me for today. I almost forgot my chilies. I put these up on the um, bedroom windowsill. That's my Tabascos and Anaheim's. Had a little bit of a problem here with these two trying to stretch around so I've put my tin foil on them both to reflect the sun back out so yeah 
that's me done for this week. Next week, down there where the white is, where it's been warming up well over a week, maybe two weeks now, under the fleece. I'm hoping to get my onions in next weekend. See you then. <laughs>